IELTS Life Skills A1 Spells Visa Test. This is IELTS Life Skills A1 Speaking and Listening Test. My name's Angelina, Canada Day. What's your full name? My full name is Satya. What can I call you? You can call me just Satya. Can you spell your name for me? Yes, yes, sure. S A D I A. Where do you come from? I come from Sesta Basit, Pakistan. And what do you do? I am a housewife. All right. What type of TV programs do you like to watch? I like morning show and talk show and some drama. Okay. And how do you get information? I get information from TV and YouTube channel. What's your favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day is evening time. Thank you so much, Canada J. Canada B, what's your full name? My full name is Manjia Hassani. What can I call you? You can call me Manjia. Can you spell your name? Yes, M A N I G H A Manjia. Where do you come from? I come from Afghanistan. And what do you do? I am a housewife. How do you learn English? Uh, I learn English by online class and uh, sometimes I learn English by watching a video on YouTube channel. Why are you learning English? Uh, because the first uh, English is an international language, so I think everyone uh, has to learn English. And also, uh, uh, I want to go to UK and uh, I have to learn English. Do you think it is difficult to learn English? Yes, it's difficult to learn English because it's not my native language and also English has pronunciation, grammar, speaking, listening, uh, vocabulary. I think it's hard. All right. First candidate A. Will question candidate B about news. And candidate B will question candidate A about favorite TV programs. Candidate A, first you will ask your questions from candidate B about news. In the real test, examiner will give you one minute to think and will give you a paper and a pen too. But I will not give you one minute to think because I think you should question immediately but in the real exam wait for your examiner to tell you that one minute is over now ask your questions from each other so first candidate a please ask your questions from candidate b about news you only have two minutes and your time begins now ready? yes i'm ready what kind of news would you like to know uh, I like to watch news uh, every day, and also I like to watch news about what happened uh, around the world. Would you like to know about your surrounding, like in your city? Uh, yes, I like to watch uh, news about. From where you get like, from where you get news? Uh, I watch uh, news on TV, and sometimes um, I, uh, I sometimes I like to read the uh, news on the newspaper. How much time do? How much time do? Give uh, I, uh, I uh, watch uh, news every day, especially in the evening. Uh, I watch news with my father. How do you feel after listening and knowing news about something? Uh, if I uh, hear uh, bad news, uh, it's uh, sure I, 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 will, I, I feel uh, unhappy. And so when I hear uh, good news, I feel, I feel happy. You watch news alone or anything else? Uh, I like to watch uh, news with my father. Yeah. How much time do you give? Uh, it's about uh, 
It's about uh, 20 or 25 minutes to watch the news. You like to know about the news? Thank you. About Thank you so much. Thank you. Time's up. Two minutes are over. Now, candidate B, please ask your <clears> questions <throat> from candidate A about her favorite TV programs. You only have two okay. minutes and your time begins now. Okay, Sadia, so are you ready? Yes. Do you have any favorite TV program? Yes. I like morning okay. show. Okay, yeah. which is your favorite TV program? I like morning show that was played in the morning. Okay. How long has been your favorite TV program? Sorry, repeat again. How long it's been? Is it is your favorite TV program? Okay. How often do you like to watch your favorite TV program? I watch almost daily. Okay. With who do you like to watch your favorite TV program? I watch with my sister. Okay. Uh, where do you like to watch your favorite TV program? I watch in the living room. Okay, do you like to watch your favorite TV program in the evening? No. Okay, do you like to I eat like snacks when you are uh, watching your favorite TV program? Okay, do you like to eat snacks when you are watching your favorite TV program? Sorry, eat again. Do you, do you like to eat snacks when you are watching your favorite TV program? Okay. Do you like to watch uh, with your uh, watch with your friends uh, your favorite TV program? Do you like to watch your favorite TV program with your friends? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you like yes, to watch your I favorite TV program with your husband? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, do you like to watch uh, your favorite TV program mm, on the on the weekend? Yes, I like. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Two minutes are over. Very well done. Manisha, good questions. Before I move on, I just want to quickly tell if anyone will ask you, Sadia, how long it's been. So how long it's been is used for the for the first day up till now. Like if I will ask you, Sadia, how long it's been your marriage? So you will say, teacher, it's been one year. It's been it's been six months. Sadia, tell me how long it's been your marriage. Six years. Six years. Oh, that's long. Okay. Afsana, how long it's been your marriage? I have been married for six years. Okay. And Manisha, how long it's been your marriage? Uh, it's five months. It's been five months. Now, yeah, this, uh, let me write months. it in here. This, it's been. Okay, let me write it in here. This, it's been means it has been. If you don't like okay. it's been, go for it has been five years, six years. When somebody says how long it's been from first day up till now, she's asking you how long it's been you're watching your favorite TV program. So you can say it's been six years. It's been five years. It's been two years. It's been one year. Manisha, Manisha no, Sadia, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. How long it's been you're watching your favorite TV program? I have been watching for six months. Okay, it has been six months, and shorter form of uh, this is it's been six months. It's been six months. Okay, all right. Um, and then she asked you about snacks. Do you understand what are snacks, Sadia? Pretty. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what are snacks? What is your favorite evening snack? Snack, can you tell me? Snacks are like crackers, biscuits, chips. Maybe we also call it uh, like uh, we love Nimco as well. You know, that's a snack. Something that you eat. You get that, right? Like in the evening as a snack. As a snack. Like you say, oh, let me bring some uh, tea and samosas as a snack. Right? It's not the main meal. But it's an extra little meal, extra little food that is called a snack. 
Sadia, do you understand me? Could you name what's your favorite snack, Sadia? My favorite snack is the chip. Okay, okay. So do you ever make any snack for your family? Yes. What kind of snacks do you make for them? Sadia. Hmm. What kinds of snacks do you make for your family? I make sometimes the sandwich and sometimes the fried chips. Hmm. Okay. All right. And Manisha, what's your favorite snack? Uh, my favorite snacks are uh, cookie and chips. Hmm. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And chocolate. So, Sadia, please remember this, how long it's been, and snacks, okay? Write it down somewhere. S-N-A-C-K-S, -S, snacks. Thank you. Now, candidate, uh, I think you both are done with your questions, right? News and what was the second topic? Favorite TV programs. Favorite TV programs, okay. Now, phase 2B, candidate A and candidate B. This is a recent exam topic today. My student told me just, I think, two hours back. What do you like about your country and what you don't like about your country? You have three minutes to talk to each other and discuss with each other about the things which are good about your country, like things you like about your country and things you don't like about your country. Yeah, because... Uh, Old topic is just the things you like about your country, but examiner never says that discuss things you don't like about your country. So first time examiner is giving the topic things you like about your country and things you don't like about your country. So you have three minutes to discuss and your time begins now. This is phase two B. Okay, Sadia, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, where are you from? What? Where are you from? Okay, do you like your country? Yes, I like my country because their people are very friendly and cooperative. What about you? Uh, yes, I like my country. Uh, is there, uh, okay, uh, what do you like about your country? Mm, my country is very beautiful. There's sea and the mountains and nothing else are so beautiful and charming. What about you? Okay. Uh, you like I like, uh, yes, I like my country because so we have a uh, uh, honest and helpful people in my country. And also we have uh, some beautiful places we can uh, go to uh, uh, for um, any vacation and enjoy from our free time. Uh, do, you, uh, do you like your uh, historical places in your country? Yes, I like historical places and uh, sometimes I visit my historical place of my country. Okay. Um, is there anything? You, uh, you also okay. some historical place of your country. Yes, we have a lot of historical place in my country, and also uh, I have a, a, a chance uh, when uh, uh, back in Afghanistan. I like to visit uh, every place of my country. Uh, is there anything you dislike about your country? I like mountains and uh, rivers. Dislike, dislike, not like. Dislike means not like. Anisha, okay. repeat your question. Okay. Uh, is there anything you don't like in your country? Like, uh, do you have uh, peace in your country? It means, uh, is there anything you dislike about your country? Uh, yes, uh, I have. Uh, I think uh, okay. our, our roads are not smooth. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. Uh, um, I I don't. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we have uh, something I dislike about my country. Like now we don't have any peace. We don't have any government in our country, and also uh, we don't have uh, some educational places where women can uh, go and study knowledge. And uh, I, I I dislike um, this one. Uh, uh, and also, uh, do you have a uh, uh, educational in your country, educational facilities in your country? 
Yes, I uh, my country has any good facility of education. Mm -hmm. Do we have education facilities? No, now we don't have any educational facilities in your in our country. Uh, do you have? Uh, thank you, thank you. Three minutes are over. Very well done. Uh, Sadia, beautiful. Like means okay. Thumbs up. Dislike means not okay, not good, bad, right? So, uh, thumbs up means things you like about your country and things you don't like. Thumbs down. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't like. Okay, I'll show you. This is not like. First one is like. And then dislike means not like. Dis means no. Dislike. No, no, no. So, Sadia, examiner might give you this topic, so listen carefully. You can say, I don't like the traffic system in my country. I don't like the corruption in my country, right? I don't like, uh, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like people don't have jobs in my country, right? There are people that are very poor in my country. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and also, um, mm, uh, what else? What else? Tell me more. Traffic you don't like. Uh, and no, there's no peace in my country. You can say there's no peace in my country. No, not a peaceful country. Right? Yes, sir. But you have to say that, right? You have to say, I'm going to write these words. Please, anyone can use it. Uh, you can say that not. I don't like uh, not many jobs in my country. Not many jobs in my country. In my country uh sometimes no safety for females right sometimes no uh safety for females um sometimes no safety for females uh, what else you, you don't like uh you can also say um mm -hmm. people throw garbage here and there right people throw their wrappers everywhere right yeah. so uh people make roads dirty people make roads roads and public places dirty right you can also say pe public places means like parks beaches uh, uh park beaches amusement parks any place where people go like cafes restaurants food is also not very good quality you know you can also say that uh People make roads dirty. And I think, uh, what else? Traffic, traffic problem. And also sometimes political problems, right? Political means that, oh, someone is fighting, someone is dying. Oh. Uh, you know about political problems, Sadia? Just, just yes, to tell you. Okay, okay. Just like. Right now in, in, in Faisalabad, there's a lot of uh, bad things going on. Everyone is afraid. Police is there. Political issues, right? Then the issue with Imran Khan, rallies and all. That's called political problems. Um, mm -hmm. Biggest problem with your country is money problem, right? We call it financial problem or we call it economic problem. If it's not compulsory, I don't want everybody to use it. But you can. It's called economic problem or it is called financial problem. What is it called? Financial problem. The choice is yours. Just choose any three good words and talk. Right? So if the examiner will say talk about things you like about your country and things you don't like about your country. So say, do you have economic problems in your country? Do you have political problems in your country? Do you have... Um, uh, do you have financial problems in your country? Do you have traffic problems in your country? Do you uh, have a clean country or do you think it is dirty, right? Uh, is your country safe for females, right? And also, uh, do you uh, do young people have jobs in your country, right? So think, ask them good questions also, ask them bad questions also, like ask them what you don't like about your country. Understanding? Okay. Yes, sir. Tell me two th things that you don't like about your country. Tell me. Sadia. Economy. I don't like economic problems and uh, financial problems. In my country and also? 
some political problems also not good right so just like yes. this that is okay this is a good answer and manisha could you please also tell me about two uh, problems in your country like you don't like those problems uh at the first we don't have uh, peace in afghanistan and also we don't have freedom and mm. also uh, the woman the women are not uh, safe in my country mm -hmm. and also uh, we don't have any um, like traffic uh, facilities and uh, public facilities mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. thank you thank you that was a beautiful answer thank you so much okay now this is the end of the speaking test now wait for your listening test let's start Candidate A, you will tell me from the first recording, who is talking in the first recording? Police, nurse, or shopkeeper? Candidate B, you will tell me who is talking in the second recording? Police, nurse, or shopkeeper? Let's listen to the recording now. IELTS Life Skills, A1. Speaking and listening test. Test 5, recording 1. This recording is copyright. The sound is okay, Sadia? Yes, ma'am. I've been working here for four years. I like this job very much. My main responsibility is taking care of old patients. I have to work for 8 hours in a day. I attend my work at 9.30 in the morning. And I left my work at 5 p.m. It takes around 30 minutes to return home by train. I really enjoy this work because I think it is a noble profession. Recording 2 I like my job very much because I feel comfortable doing it. My duty is to sell product. I work here for six days a week. My house is not too far from here. It takes only 20 minutes to go my house by bus. Sometimes I go to my workplace by train. The ticket costs me five pound. My wife works in a hospital as a nurse. And we return home at around same time from work. Candidate. A. From the first recording, who is talking in the first recording? Police, nurse, or shopkeeper? About the nurse. Thank you. Candidate B. Who's talking in the second recording? Police, nurse, or shopkeeper? Shopkeeper. Thank you. Now listen again and answer these questions. Candidate B. B. From the first recording, how many years the woman has been working for this job? And how many hours a day she works? Candidate A, A, from the second, second recording, how many days a week the man works and how much time it takes him to go to his work? Let's listen to the recording once again. IELTS Life Skills, A1, Speaking and Listening Test. Test 5, Recording 1. This recording is copyright. I've been working here for four years. I like this job very much. My main responsibility is taking care of old patients. I have to work for eight hours in a day. I attend my work at 9.30 in the morning. And I left my work at 5 p.m. It takes around 30 minutes to return home by train. I really enjoy this work because I think it is a noble profession. Recording 2 I like my job very much because I feel comfortable doing it. My duty is to sell product. I work here for six days a week. My house is not too far from here. It takes only 20 minutes to go my house by bus. Sometimes I go to my workplace by train. The ticket costs me five pound. My wife works in a hospital as a nurse. And we return home at around same time from work. Candidate B. B. From the first recording, how many years the woman has been working for this job? 
four years. And how many hours a day she works? Eight hours in a day. Thank you. Candidate A. A. From the second recording, how many days a week the man works? Six days. Thank you. And how much time it takes him to go to his work? 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Do you both have passed? Good job. 